Strap in, buckle up, because this video is about to get crazy to say the least, and I'm not even going to expose Florida State. A recruit who I've been speaking with is about to expose Florida State. Oh yeah, by the way, if Florida State tries to come after me, the athletic department or university, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Oh, well, oh, well, would you look at that? I knew something suspicioso was going on. Man, oh man, when I tell you you're in for a treat with this video, I think that's understating it. I recently just had a FaceTime call with a high school football recruit who, let's just say, is very sought after, every school in the country wants them, including the Cinnamon Rolls, Florida State. Why am I singling them out? You'll see in just a second. <laughs> oh man, this is about to be good. We got a juicy one for tonight. We ain't doing no intro, none of that. It's simply you like the content. Consider joining our amazing college football community. By the way, shout out to everybody that is already subscribed. And if you don't want to subscribe, well, that's cool too. We ain't got time to waste. We're jumping straight into it. This is the one and only topic we're talking about. Yes, there's a lot of stuff going on in the college football world, but we'll get to that another day. For now, at least in this video, we got to talk about this. If you've been keeping up with the channel for a long time, you would know the one thing I do not talk about too much is recruiting unless it's involving a five-star recruit i just simply don't care because all these four five three and two star recruits they're gonna look great at the high school level because they're playing future uber eats drivers future doordash drivers and future insurance salesmen my point is unless it's some big time recruiting news i don't really get too hyped up about it and i don't even talk about it i've never understood the big hoopla where you got grown men grown women crying and upset that a high school kid didn't choose to go to your school. And I'll be the first to tell you, as an Alabama fan, I love to have every single five-star recruit. I love to have all the talented players, but at the end of the day, I don't care. I'm wishing these high school kids the best of luck no matter where they decide to play at. So that's why you'll never see me talk about the recruiting side too much. We speak on it occasionally, if there is some big time news. With that being said, I'm sure some of you may have or may not have heard the news in the past week or so, Florida State hasn't just been doing good or great in the recruiting trail, they've been dominating. They've been getting recruit after recruit after recruit like it's nothing. And I'm not talking about some three star Joe Schmoes, I'm talking about five stars, baby. We're talking about the quote unquote prodigy we're talking about the best of the best. And remember recently, I hyped this one up a lot because I thought Deion Sanders was going to land them. They beat out Coach Prime for a cornerback, not only a cornerback, but a five-star cornerback, Charles Lester. That was insane itself. And then, only a couple days ago, they got five-star safety, KJ Bolden. So within one week, they got two five-stars. Pretty insane. To put that in perspective, I know a lot of people aren't too highly informed on all of this. There's only about 20 to 25 five stars in every single class. And oh yeah, by the way, they also landed a four star offensive tackle like 10 days ago that nobody even talked about. Or maybe they did, I just didn't see it. Now I know what you're sitting there saying. Okay, Matt, I already know this information. Or maybe if you didn't know the information, you're still like, okay, Matt, well, what does all this mean? On paper, at least, it just looks like Mike Norvell and the Florida State coaching staff, they're doing a heck of a job. But, and I have a really big but, if you have spoken to some of the people I've spoken to in the past couple of weeks and the past couple of months, you would know this is a major red flag. Strap in, buckle up, because this video is about to get crazy to say the least, and I'm not even going to expose Florida State. A recruit who I've been speaking with is about to expose Florida State. Unfortunately, and I hate that I can't do this, but obviously you know I can't, I cannot tell you who this said recruit is because not only would he get in a lot of trouble, but I feel like I would as well. I just can't tell you that, but here's what I can tell you. It's a recruit that is currently still in high school. I'm not telling you what class he's in. I'm not telling you how old he is. I'm not telling you the position, none of that, but he's being recruited by Florida State currently. And let me also say this before I get going. I talk to a lot of these three, four, and five-star recruits on a regular basis, and I've never heard a story like this. Maybe this happens everywhere else, but I've never heard it before. As to when I'm speaking and as to when you are seeing this video, it is August 7th. About a month ago, this was like around, I think it was actually like, July 6th, because he called me right after the July 4th, we had a phone call. So about a month ago, me and this said recruit, we were talking and we was pretty much just catching up because I haven't talked to him in a while. Just your typical bro talk. I'm like, hey, how's everything going? How's the recruitment process going? And yada, yada, yada. And to make a long story short in that phone call, he was just telling me how he had a visit recently with LSU in Georgia and it went great. I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Glad to hear that. And he was like, yeah, but I'm kind of liking Florida State. And I can tell you this much, this young man 
ain't even from Florida. And it caught me off guard because we've spoken quite a bit and he's never brought him up before. He would agree with me on this. The SEC is where he wants to play. So when he told me, and this is a month ago, that he's really liking or kind of liking Florida State, I was like, wait, what do you mean? You've never brought him up before. And he was like, yeah, well, they're cutting me a little NIL check. I'm getting a little NIL money, so it is piquing my interest. And I ain't gonna hold you. I thought he was joking. I thought he was trolling. And you know me, I'm all about the jokes. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 get that bag. You know, I was like, get that bag, man. Yeah, get all that money. I'm all about these young players getting as much money as they can because these schools have been milking these players for money the past hundred years. Getting back on tracker, though, me still thinking he's joking. I'm like, oh, yeah, you might have to go there because... If they cutting you a check now, imagine what they're going to give you when you actually commit there. Keep in mind, he's not even committed to Florida State, and he was telling me they was cutting him a check. Or not even a check, and we'll get to this in just a second. A little foreshadowing here. It was a direct deposit. And he was laughing. He's like, yeah, I'm going to keep you updated, though, but if they keep sending me a little money, I might have to go there. I was like, all right, man, holler at you. We talked about some other stuff I'm not going to talk about because it's personal information, and that was that. Remember, that was right after July 4th, so about a month ago. And you got to remember, and I can't even besides this enough i'm thinking this guy's joking i didn't think anything about that phone call but then what happened last week charles lester he commits to florida state i'm not thinking anything about it and then a couple days ago they get kj bolden five-star safety and then yesterday more news comes out that they're about to flip another georgia commit because remember kj bolden he was, he was supposed to go to Georgia. But this right here, this tweet right here is what really got the gears turning in my head. When I saw yet again that Florida State is about to flip another player, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. What is going on? This is not normal. This isn't Florida State behavior. And immediately when the gears start turning in my head, I'm like, okay, why is this happening? Something's got to be going on. And then boom, it hit me. It's like the light bulb. Went, who made the light bulb? Wasn't it Albert Einstein? I don't know. The, a light bulb was in my head. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That dude called me a month ago and was talking about Florida State was cutting him a check. Was he actually serious? And I was telling myself, ah, oh, no, nah, there's no way, but eh, what's a phone call going to hurt? Let me call him up. I think you know exactly where I'm about to go with this story. I wound up shooting him a text. I was like, hey, you got a second, you got some time, and we got on a call. I called him up. We chopped it up for like five or ten minutes. You know how it goes. And I was like, hey, remember last month you was telling me how Florida State, they're recruiting you, and they were cutting you a check? You weren't serious, were you? There's a little awkward silence, and he goes, oh, no, Matt, I, I was dead serious, man. They actually giving me some money. And I straight up told him, look, man, I don't want to say I don't believe you, but I got to see it to believe it. It's kind of like Bigfoot. I don't want to say that Bigfoot isn't real, but you know what I'm saying? I got to see it to believe it. got to see it for myself. And with no hesitation, he goes, all right, bet. I'll show you right now. And he FaceTimes me. We're on a call. We're not FaceTiming. He switches it over to FaceTime. And on FaceTime, he pulled up his bank statements and just like a regular job every two weeks, boom, a direct deposit is hitting his bank account. It was like clockwork for the past four to five months. Every two weeks, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Keep in mind, this kid's in high school. He doesn't work. And I know he'll probably be watching this video. I mean this in the most respectful way. He doesn't come from a family with a lot of money. So it's not like some family member is direct depositing or wire transferring him this much money every two weeks. And without giving out too much information, it's not millions of dollars, but it's probably more than what some of you would expect. Let me put it this way. I'm not talking about a couple hundred dollars. If it was a couple hundred dollars, I wouldn't even be making this video. I am talking about thousands of dollars every two weeks like a regular job now whoa 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 hold on hold on i know it's everybody's about to run to the comment section and say well matt this is why the nil was put into place you can pay players blah 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 no 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 no. you don't understand i'm all for the nil and i get that but this kid isn't even committed to florida state his recruitment process is wide open this is a uncommitted recruit in high school that florida state is already giving out a direct deposit to every two weeks and i wish i could show you gosh man i wish i could but yet again you know i can't you're just gonna take my word for it i have no reason to lie about this and trust me if it sounds hard to believe i understand it it may be something you guys see for yourself because i didn't even believe him at first but he showed it to me and i was still trying to find a way to debunk it so i asked him i was like well why are they giving you this money and he just said yeah i don't know why they're giving it to me i guess they want me to go there and i kept trying to tell him man there's no way they're giving you this money i don't know who's depositing this in your bank account but it's no way it's them and he was like matt 
you didn't see my new car? He showed me his new car and I can't tell you what it is because I also might give out who it is, but it's like a $75,000 car. Yet again, this is a kid in high school who doesn't work, doesn't come from a wealthy family. And I'm just sitting there on the phone call and all, I don't even know what to say. I'm like, what? This is crazy. Look, man, I ain't saying you got to believe this video. Obviously, you're entitled to your own opinion. You can believe what you want. But here's what I'll tell you, even if you don't want to believe me in this story, there's some shady stuff going on at Florida State when it comes to recruiting. It is extremely odd to me when a kid calls me a month ago saying, oh yeah, Matt, Florida State's cut me a nice little check. And then a couple weeks after that, Florida State lands a four-star recruit and two five-stars. And I also want to make this extremely clear so y'all don't think I'm trying to be some hater and I'm hating on Florida State. I really could care less if they're paying kids or not. I firmly believe every single college out there, especially in the SEC, is doing some shady bull crap. Everybody knows that. Heck, man, Alabama players ever since 2008 were driving brand new Camaros. There's definitely some crap going on under the table everywhere. I'll say that about my own team. The reason I'm making this video is because, number one, I've never heard of a story and scenario where a recruit who's uncommitted is being paid by school already and number two i think it's fascinating what a time to be alive man what a time you got nil the conference realignment and oh yeah by the way if florida state tries to come after me the athletic department or university this video is for entertainment purposes only let me know your thoughts down below but uh